sun and moon makeup and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is not going to be a tutorial unfortunately, but it's going to be about makeup trends I don't like and this is not just limited to uh, on the face, it's kind of like how people act in the community because there are certain trends that I am seeing that I just don't like. I just don't like. Okay. So I have my niece. Some of them I won't be saying just because I wrote them and I was like, mm, that doesn't really relate to the video so there's no point. So if I do lose count at a certain spot in the video, that's cause I didn't want to say one. So without further ado, let's get on to makeup trend they don't like. Number one is going to be the Instagram anyways that like to pretend they're going to do like their eyeliner normally and then they get to here before they touch their hand like no 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 and then they like lick it or something weird can you not i can hear a poker doesn't make sense to me. I kind of look at it and I'm like, really? That's what you brought to the table? Number two is damaging perfectly good products for views. And this, this is just on a broad spectrum, but the one that made me write this was watching this woman taking a $50 lipstick and cutting it up to make it into an eyeshadow. And I'm sitting here thinking, if you can afford, okay, I'm, I'm kind of reaching here, just gonna say this, but if you can afford a $50 lipstick, pretty sure you could afford a Makeup Geek shadow. They're like six bucks. Unnecessary, don't need it. Number three has gotta be the Ferrisil droplets I keep seeing. Last I, last I saw and I checked, it's basically water, it's hyped up water, just really expensive water, like, got water in the sink. I'm not on board, I'm sorry. Number four, it's more directed to my Twitter people. I don't know why I sound like an old lady who doesn't know the internet that well. She's like, well, these Twitter people. Mm. But now like, all y'all on my timeline, and there are two things I've seen this happen with that like, I 100% bug me. First, it's uh, y'all trying something random on your skin for your skincare. It works one beautifully one day and then my entire timeline's like, oh, you should try coconut oil for your skin. Well, I'm gonna do the disclaimer that yes, everybody's skin is different. Most of all, got most of us clogged our pores doing that. I thankfully didn't, because I went. You don't put oils on your face, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try that. But I've watched several people ruin their skin, and if you don't believe me. You can go watch Bretman Rock's YouTube video, his day skin tear, where he said the reason he broke out so bad was because he did the coconut oil on his skin. So I don't mess with coconut oil. And then the second one is the Shea Moisture Black Soap. I'm watching people put on their face and on their skin and it's burning them. So. Uh, Research stuff before you put it on. Number five is something I feel strongly about. It's all y'all think that it's acceptable to support sexist, homophobic, ableist, or just any of those, okay? In brands or anyways. I'm not gonna say names, but it's 2017. not acceptable. We're not gonna accept it and we're just not gonna play that game, okay? That's all I'm gonna say about that. 
is like the with the NYX cover drops. Uh, those people love that foundation. Is what I've seen from the Instagram Explore page. Uh, they'll do their contour, their highlight, and their regular foundation with it, but they'll drop it so it looks like run marks down on their face. I don't get it. <laughs> Because you got like you got pasty white here and then you got tan and then you have like they're trying to make sure your brown doesn't go down into your eyebrows and i watched one girl she had her eyes and her brows already done and she did it and it came right all the way through her eyebrow and i was like no no <laughs> number seven is more of a local thing but uh it's more of a local twitter thing or an instagram thing i've seen it's like this random just nude eye just basic and then she's got a bright red or blue or purple and everyone's like wow i love this bold look okay so the lipstick makes the look bold or you what because i've walked out the house and things bolder than that i will say that I just, I just need to figure out what y'all's definition of bold is. Because with the bold look, then uh, apparently I am 95% bold looks. Number eight, something I'm going to admit I made the mistake of doing was uh, shaving my face. I don't, I don't care what you have to say. It's a hassle. If you, you got peach fuzz, there's no need for it. I don't care if it makes your makeup go on smoother. You gotta sit there and shave your face at least twice a week. Number nine is more of a, I guess it's like a petty thing, but uh, it's y'all making these MUAs. And this ranges from these 12, 14 year old kids around my age to these 25 year olds who cannot blend for their life. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'm tired of seeing these people with 20k like followers, subscribers, just any kind of following that's huge. And they blend like a two-year-old on a coloring book. I'm sorry. I don't play that. As someone who it takes a lot for me. <laughs> I will sit there for 20 minutes to make sure that my eyeshadow is blended. Like she got blend nicely into each other, cause I don't play that game. I'm sorry, but I don't. It's cold in here, but I don't care if it's a 12 year old and everyone's like, and he's he she. Whatever they want to go by. I don't care. But, like, congratulations. I'm glad people are into doing makeup. That's like, I'm here. I'm so much here for people doing makeup. But I'm also tired of watching people who have amazing talent not have a following. And then someone who cannot blend have a major following. If that makes sense. Number 10 is, uh, all y'all claiming that color correcting does not work when you are pastier than this back cover right here and you're using a brick red so it's not gonna work you need a peach or a light orange something that's not that dark like it's not gonna blend out well and it's not gonna work so color correcting isn't working because you didn't do your research and you didn't figure out what color is going to complement the dark tones in your skin. Number 12 is a uh, tummy tea, which is pretty much a tea in laxative form. So if you sit in there and your entire diet consists of these teas after every meal, the reason you're losing the weight is because your body's not digesting all the stuff it needs to because you're throwing the laxatives in immediately and it's getting rid of and making you... You get the point, you know what laxative to do, but uh, the reason 
you're not losing your weight because you're eating good and all that. No, you're losing all your weight because it's going out your back end. So, uh, and it's not good for your body because once you consume laxatives for a good period of time and you stop taking your tummy tea, it's going to destroy your stomach. Because your stomach doesn't know how to properly digest everything anymore because you've been sit feeding it laxatives for forever, so. Number 13 is putting tape on your face. And I understand why using tape is so commonly used because it's easy and accessible. And if you're like me, who's trash and at eyeliner most of the time, <laughs> if like if I'm thin like this, I probably will need tape if I feel like it. But the reason it bothers me so much is not these people are doing it on full face cake. So like they have their highlight, their concealer, and all that already on there, and then they're putting super sticky tape, like they don't even take the stickiness off with the back of their hand, they're just putting straight on tape. That's gonna rip off your concealer and your foundation and it's just gonna make a mess. I advise if you're gonna do your tape, that tape technique, do your eyes and your, well, your brows first, depending on how you're using tape. Number 14 is uh, putting weird things on your face for views. Is, uh, if I have to watch one more person pull a bra insert out of their out of their bra and start slathering and smacking it on their face with a giant chicken cutlet, I'm gonna lose my mind because you can go buy a Real Techniques beauty sponge for like six bucks at Walmart, H E B, whatever they got in your in your tape. You keep food off your face, like. I watched a lady blend her thing with an egg, her face with an egg. I don't like the smell of eggs in general, so if I'm coming near you and your entire beat smells like an egg, I'm not, I'm done, we done, I'm not talking to you, that's gross. Number 15 is, that's something you have to do, in all honesty. I'm just gonna, again, throw the disclaimer out, everything I say, take with a grain of salt because it's my views and it's just things I personally don't like, so you might like half of these things. But anyway, uh, number 15 is finding a highlighter that matches your skin tone or like your complexion. Because as big as the highlighting movement is right now, it's like thrown on layers of highlighter because it looks great. In my opinion, I love highlighter, so. But like, if you're, again, back of the cupboard, white, golds and rose golds and just those deep rich shades are not gonna look as good as, on you as, you know, someone with melanin or... If you feel good in it, makeup, you however you feel is how you feel and if you like it, you like it. Number 16 is uh, wasting product in those like in the Instagram videos, cause you know like they have the minute ones where they have everything's fast and they only show a little bit. But I'm watching someone squeeze out their primer, like the entire bottle. And I'm like, why? You're gonna use like a 16th of that. So I need y'all to stop wasting product. H how are you also gonna get that back in the bottle? So I know when I accidentally use a little too much primer, I'm like, I mean, you bathe them sitting there like trying to get her back in, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So, uh, don't do that. Stop wasting product. People out here are struggling to buy a $5 wet and wild primer and you sitting here squeezing out a Smashbox primer for views. 17 is unnecessary contouring. I watch. <laughs> I've seen some weird videos. Like I know Nikita Dragon has one where she's sitting there. I know it's for laughs, but like there's some people who actually go out and like contour abs on or boobs and like collarbones. It's it's unnecessary. Like I'm not gonna judge you if you do, but like you could save. 
a good amount of your time in the morning. What I do when I want like my collarbones to pop out, which they already do, it's like I just take that highlighter I wore for the day and I do it here. You can do that anywhere. Number 18 is uh, just waste in makeup. Especially those videos where they're like de-plotting it and showing you how much it weighs. It's just It just bothers me so much. Please stop wasting makeup. <laughs> stop, please. Anyway guys, that was the end of makeup trends I don't like. I hope y'all enjoyed, or if you didn't, I'm, I'm sorry, again. Take everything I say with a grain of salt because they are my opinions and you have yours and ours are not going to match, so. Don't know what you want me to say, but other than I apologize and I hope you have a good rest of the day. But I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe, and while you're down there, hit that little notification button because I'm going to be trying to post on Mondays and Fridays even though I'm not on schedule right now. I've had a rough past two weeks. I'm sorry. I really am. But, while we're at it, comment some makeup trends you've noticed or you don't like, because that's all this video is about. So, I hope I see you next time.